But we are gonna play some Argus or Argengus. Arginus? Might be Arginus. But I also wanna make sure that the strain's holding up well. And it's a shoot 'em up, which I love these type of games. In each of these games that you're seeing, I will go ahead and um, be doing highlights of them as well. And this is just the light version, so. But I thought the game was pretty good and needed to be shown to the world. And usually when I do my highlights, I will put where you can find the games if you're interested. Ah, I died. Oh. I killed myself. Wow. I love the music in this. Um, again, this is also another one that uses keyboard and mouse. So. the stage. I also took damage, but I cleared the stage. Oops. You don't want to touch those because they actually um, do damage. And to me, it reminds me a lot of a lot of the old school Atari games, too. I know it's 8-bit, but like, right here, where you shoot these things and they break apart, buys of asteroids, so... Ah! I have to play again, I have to. As you can see, it goes into a smaller screen, and I do apologize for that. Um, so we're gonna break it back to, uh... Actually, I'm going to see if I can just... I want it to always come up in full screen. So that way it'll show the actual name of the game. Uh, but, yeah. This, again, this is the light version of this game. Um, ideally, when you buy the full version, you get all the other modes. And you get more levels. But, for the sake, I'm just testing it out on stream here. Nice. Ah! They hit me! Nice. I think this game is nicely done, too. I love the music in this. Not even gonna lie, I really love the music in this. Stage clear. Oh, and then you carry it on to the next level. That's pretty cool, too. That is pretty... Ah! Uh, that's fine. I was doing pretty good, though. I have to pick up the power ups as I go. Eh. Not doing so hot. 
You have to be careful. You have to be careful and not touch those either. <laughs> my, it is not by all means that I, easy either. But I do enjoy a good challenge. Oh, and I died on the second boss. But I'm going to play again because I, I like these type of games. And then, ideally, when you buy the full version, you get the other ships as well. But I'm okay with this ship. Like this, I would actually go ahead and purchase the full version. Because I like these type of games. Um, it's not available on Steam as of yet. Um, but there is a way that you can support the um, developer for this game. If we can get down here. Hopefully, I don't get killed. No, I died. <laughs> like, explodes. But I, I do. I like these type of games. I'm gonna see if I can blow these guys up. Ah, oh. that has saved me. Now all I have to do is focus on what it shoots out. Ah, oh, come on, look, guys. Like, I love the music in this. I really do. Stage clear. Did I really bump into that? Ugh. I did. It's this game is difficult, but I love it. I love the difficulty in it. And this is just normal. So ideally, because um, like I said, I would probably more so be interested in purchasing the full version of this game. Just to see how each of the um, levels or each of the difficulties are. Because if this is normal, I'm curious to see what, um, like, hard would actually be considered. <laughs> Did I die, die? I died, died. Crap. I get a bit, though. I am enjoying this a lot. <laughs> Because it just reminds me of those old school, and I like these type of games, these shoot 'em up games, or, you know. Ah! <laughs> Graphics, like I said, and then I love too that it has that retro feel to it. Ah, I took damage. I have taken damage. I've taken more damage. Oh, you can destroy those. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. No. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Ah. Uh -uh. I like this setup. Nice. Okay, I cleared the stage. I'm hoping to not die. I nearly that was the goal, but not the night. And I.
But yeah, again, this is the light version of um, this game. And um, would love to get my hands on a full copy of it, so I probably will end up uh, contacting the developer and seeing how do I get my hands on a full copy of this game. Because I would love to play more of it. Because I love these type of games. I like shoot 'em ups, so. <laughs> no! I know what I've been bamboozled! Damn it! <laughs> oh! I thought I died, died. But I did not. Glory! Hark! For the evil Goblin King is dead! Oh, what in the blue devil? What in the blue devil? I almost had it that time. I felt it. I was close. Okay, I'm gonna play again. And then we're gonna switch over to um, Roguelite, which is another game that is still being developed, I believe. Forget it! I've come too far! Ah! Oh, you can destroy those pots, too. That's cool. Please don't kill me! I need it! Ah! Damn it! That's okay. I love the music in this, like, for real. And I think that's what keeps making me play, it's because of the music, honestly. Game is great too, though, but... Ideally, it's the music. Music has me drawn in. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just did that. I have to be careful. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, asshole. And then it sets you up, because it, like, it sets you up so that you will, like... You have to be careful. Like, you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oops. Sorry about that. I am so sorry about that. It's not what I was trying to do. Sweet. Thank you. I appreciate that lurk. I appreciate the lurk. Oh, I died. <laughs> But thank you, thank you, Chaos. I appreciate the lurk. I have to play again. I don't know why I'm addicted to this little game now. I'm definitely gonna pick up the actual full version of this. Ah! Ah! I want that! I don't know what it was, but I want it. Okay, it gives me an extra ship. To um, to annihilate them with. Yeah, I am enjoying this game a lot. Well, let's not run through that though. Can we kill them? Can we kill it? Yes, we can. I know I'm being mambled. I know I'm being mambled. Oh, damn it. Oh. Oh, y Yakuza is pretty good. Because I played... I think I played 4 before. And I enjoyed it.
I think that was the last Yakuza game I played was for. But yeah, it's a great storyline in uh, Yakuza. I was supposed to be switching to another game, but I got I'm so caught up in this game that I can't switch now. <laughs> but I, I, I will switch to that game in a moment. One because my OCD and my uh ADHD won't allow for me to stay with one game for too long. I wonder if I could let me see. Maybe I can avoid them for now. Because uh, we're going to die, aren't we? We got this. I believe. I believe. Gotta have faith. Get my George Michaels on. I gotta have faith for faith for faith. Damn it! Oh, come on. <laughs> right. I'm like so it, like really into this game right now. It's crazy. I died. No, because I have to get past level two. It drives me nuts. I have to get past this level. <laughs> so it's driving me nuts. I have to get past this level. <laughs> now it's just a personal goal. I still believe. I still believe. <laughs> ah, did I take damage? Yeah, I did. Damn it. Didn't I think my son's making something with hangers? I don't know what he's making, but he's running around grabbing hangers. And I'm like, hey, you go for it, kid. I'll see your sculpture when you're done. It's been a while since he's been into creating things himself, so... Like, go ahead, hun. You go ahead. You make a sculpture out of those hangers. Okay, we got this. We can do this. Okay. We know I can beat this guy. He's not that hard. Then, uh, it's all about dodging with this one. Ah, come on now. I have to be level two is what I'm trying to beat, though. He would already be dead if I had the other. I did it! For like the tenth time! I did it! I did it! Oh, come on! I know what I am being cheated the game. Let's kill that off. Alright. Oh, well, that happened. And I'm not gonna be able to go back and grab that. I really don't want to try to fight the green eggs and ham, but if I, uh, we're getting killed. Oh, <laughs> come on, game. Don't do me like this. I'm really enjoying this game, too. Oh, that is my son. I'm like, wait. Who are you? Identify yourself. Hey, Dream Team. Welcome to the stream. I think we'll play this one more time and then I'll switch over to the other game I'm supposed to play. Welcome to the stream. How did the rest of your stream go? We're gonna blow this up! Blow you up! Ooh, nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 no! Ah! And then my emotes got approved for Twitch, which I was I was actually glad they did, because the last one um, that I had, I wasn't sure if they would approve it or not. But they did! They approved all three of my emotes, so... I'm excited.
Ah, missed me. Nice. Yes. I did. I did enjoy what I did get to see of it. And then I had to head out to start um, my stream. But I did enjoy what I did see of it. How far did you get? Because um, I know the in the game, the chick was all like, Stay out of this room! And you got up to like reading about the altar. Those I remember. And then I had to step out to go ahead and um, start up um, my stream that I was doing today. But ideally tomorrow, um, I plan on playing um, Last Words, which was a game I got from Jane Zero. So I'm going to play that tomorrow. Um, and I may try to finish up Day of the Tentacle because my mod has offered me more challenges. I think he likes to see me sweat. So, I want to kill this green fart cloud. Okay, baby, it's not a green fart cloud, but I'm going to kill it anyway. What are you? Are you like, like a virus? Can I please kill it? Okay, dodge. Shoot the little ones, but dodge the big ones is ideally what I want to do. Uh, no, please don't kill me. Let me kill it. Oh, he is good. Ah! <laughs> I know what I meant, man, Boozle! No. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> it's a bad guess. Oh, you have to kill her so you stop there. It's a, Yeah, it's a bad guess. <laughs> I do apologize um, for those that are in chat. If I'm not keeping up with chat, I do apologize. I kind of get engrossed in these type of games. So. So yeah, I'm actually considering, um, cause this is the light version of this game, but I do want to get the actual full version of this game. Cause it's really fun to me. Yeah, take that! Take that! Because um, the next game that I'm going to play, I have a couple of games that uh, my mod, the Dan Van Dam show, has wanted me to do as challenges. Um, so, um, and if you're not following the Dan Van Dam show, uh, definitely give him a follow. I, I don't shout him out because he has a personal shout out that goes throughout my stream. But definitely give him a follow um as you can see i have a new layout or overlay and it was with his help that i was able to tweak it accordingly and get it up and running but but uh, overall he's a amazing guy and he plays a lot of indie games as well so definitely go and give him a follow i know he's playing halo last night Halo Guardians, I think it was. Yeah, it was with his help that he helped me kind of um, pick out my overlay and stuff. And, you know, I am very grateful for everything he has done to help me improve my stream. A lot of the things that has happened with my stream has been with his help and guidance. So I really appreciate him. Indie games are games that are developed by independent people or not known um, publishers. That's what indie games are. Like right now, this is an indie game. This isn't a, by some, say like um, Square Enix or... Um... Oh, I'm on the Fart Monster again. I didn't even realize. But that's what indie games are. Uh, games that are developed by smaller companies or... Sometimes they're developed by one person, full teams, um, and things like that. But he plays a lot of indie games as well. And he does some AAA titles. Um, 
but yeah. Most of the streamers I tend to follow either do retro or indie, but I'm open to other streamers as well. So, I mean, I was so close. I'm, mean, I, I am going to beat this thing. I know I am. I, uh, my OCD won't let me stop playing till I beat that level. Cause now it's like I want to beat it. But yeah, he helped me pick out the layout and then the emote um, or the logo that you see that I'm using as my logo was created by um, another streamer whose name is Kindred71. Um, he actually did my emotes for me and all three of them were approved. Um, give me a second and I can show you what the emotes are for because they are for subscribers. Um, but each of the emotes did finally get approved. And so, um, which is something my mod and I were discussing. We were wondering if one of them would be questionable, but it got approved too. So. Cause I am going to beat this monster. You get the subscribe button once you hit affiliate. And I think you have to have so many viewers a day, um, at least 50 followers. Um, when I first did it, I think you had to have almost 100 when I think I first did it. So they toned it down a bit. Um, but once you get all of that and you set it all up, then people will be able to subscribe to your channel. I don't know, I, I, I goofed, I goofed, this is wrong, this is all wrong, horribly wrong. I want, I want the second little ship now. And I like that you can't like shoot through the walls, like it really, it really get, gets you. Like, no, you're not going to be shooting through the wall. Okay. Okay. Here's my arch nemesis, which we have now dubbed bad gas. As courtesy of Dream Team, we're gonna call this bad gas. Like, ideally, I would gladly pay for this. Yes! Yes! Beat him! You take that! Yes! Oh, but yeah, I finally beat him! <laughs> um, it depends, um, on the benefits. Um, like, I did, I got past him and that was, that's all I wanted. But, um, the benefits of subscribing depends on each individual, indip yeah, individual streamer. Um, like, for me, um, you get the emotes, um, which... I can um, kind of show you those real fast. Um, if you do tier one, you get um, you get to use custom emotes. But um, these were created for me. So for tier one, you get um, this emote. Tier two, you are then able to use the following emotes for tier two. And then if you do the tier 3 subscription, ideally you're able to get all three of these emotes. But um, ideally what I'm actually considering doing along is give, doing a giveaway for my subs only. Because um, I do a lot of PC um, streams. So I'm actually considering and thinking of for my subs to do a... Um, sub only giveaway where then they will be able to um, enter into the giveaway and then give them a monthly or for at least that month gift them a subscription to Humble Bundle for the month 
for that particular month of the drawing is ideally what I'm thinking of doing now. And then um, for my followers, I want to do giveaways because I have a lot of games that I don't play and that I already own that I got from Humble Bundle. And I like to give those away to just my followers. But I feel like if you sub, then you should get something a little more is how I feel. So it, it just depends on each um, each streamer per se. All right, I'm going to play this one more time. And I swear this is going to be the last time I'm hooked to this game already. But yeah, I'm going to contact the developer of this game and see how can I purchase a full copy of it. Because it's not on Steam yet. So, but ideally, I would even play, I would actually pay five bucks for this. Like, this is not one of those games that you say, okay, no, two to three dollars is good. To me, I would pay about five bucks for this. Because it's done very well. And I enjoy it, so... Please don't kill me! Ha! Haha, -ha, missed me! One thing too I like about this is it doesn't give you any health, like you get no health. Cause see I wanna get the full game because the full game gives you um I believe 13 levels. Um, five goals, um, part of the proceeds, um, part of them goes to the streamer, and then half of it goes to Twitch, so. But that's how it is, you know. So um, that's how it's set up, that half of it goes to Twitch and half of it goes to the actual streamer. We're gonna get this! Jim Boo Boo! Jim Bobo! Or is it Jim Bobo? Can I call you Bobo? Cause... When I see your name, I think of Bo 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 Bo. <laughs> and I want to make sure it's okay. Um, it's okay to call you that. If not, you know, then I won't. Okay, sweet. All right, Bo Bo. I like that. But how are you today? And welcome to stream. I hope you are doing well. I died again. Curse you! I died again, but, but how are you today, Bobo? How are you? Okay, I know I said I wouldn't play again, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm so, I'm invested into this game now. I really like this game. But we are going to switch over to roguelike in a moment. I'll be, I will this time make this my last game for this. I did what I wanted to do. I wanted to beat the second boss. And I did. And I did it so gracefully. Ah! The pain! But all the games that you're seeing here today, I usually, um... Do cut them down so you can enjoy them again on YouTube as well. I do have a YouTube page. Um, on YouTube, you're just gonna wanna search Triple G87, and that will take you to my YouTube page. And again, most of the um, highlights you see, I had no idea you could highlight with Twitch until my mod told me. I told you, my mod's awesome. He's a great mod. He helps me out with a lot of things. Yes! Yeah, my mod helps me with a lot <laughs> of things, so... He's an awesome mod. That's why I'm always um, 
telling everybody to check him out. He's a great guy. I actually, I used OBS in the past, Dream Team, but I actually, I use, um, slobs now. And the reason I use slobs, which is Streamlabs OBS for those of you who don't know, the reason I use slobs is because I like to have my chat up, and I got tired of always having my phone up for chat. So this allows me to have chat available. I should have went down, I went up. This allows me to have my chat visible, vis um, have my chat visually. <laughs> Am I saying that right? I don't know. But, um, so I can see my chat without having to break up a browser. <laughs> we meet again. I died again. Okay. Yes, Dan Van Dam is the best guy. He is an awesome and excellent mod. And I am a great and very appreciative to know him he's an awesome mod so if you guys are not following um the dan van dam show give him a follow and then you can tell him hey geeky sent me because he deserves it he deserves to be appreciated i was supposed to not be playing this again see this game's addictive this game is totally addictive. Even, like, even my son knows I'm addicted to this game. But yeah, he's an awesome, awesome great guy. And he's helped me improve my stream a lot. <laughs> so you guys may hear me talk about him a lot, but it's because he deserves it. Now we meet again, Claw. Yes! I did it! But I've met a lot of great um, streamers in my year and five months of streaming. Ah! Oh, I didn't even realize. We got this one in the bag. Got this one in the bag. Dun 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 egg. Green egg. Uh, what made me decide to start streaming? Um, ironically, Bobo, I suffer from really bad social anxiety. And, um, I figured streaming would be a good way to kind of get to know people and talk to others. Because I have really bad social anxiety. And, um, when I first started out, um, I used to didn't talk as much as I'm talking now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I just wanted to get to know other people. Um, for me, it was all the aspect of wanting to hang out with people who were like mind like me and who would be willing to accept me for who I was, because I've always been socially awkward. And um, by streaming, that has helped me kind of break out of my shell. And I've met, um, yeah, it, it definitely has, like, um... Because ideally, if, you know, um, and I can go through the whole story. I'm going to play this again. And then I'm going to switch to the other game. But, um, what happened was I was doing pretty good. Um, didn't have any really bad social issues or anything. Um, but then I had a lot of things happen one after the other. And it caused me to shut down mentally and emotionally. Which is where the social anxiety built up from. Um, um, I, um, before I started streaming, I lost my brother, um, and, um, 
sorry, I'm distracted by the game. But I lost my brother. He was electrocuted by... He was working on a house. He got electrocuted. And it hit me pretty bad. So, on top of that, when that happened, um, it's like I started losing a lot of people. Not by them, like, dying, per se. But they started kind of, like, disappearing out of my life. And it caused me to shut down. And so I came on Twitch, and the first streamer I had ever watched was Sharpie Plays. And he's playing like Sega games. And I got really, you know, into watching him play. And I said, okay, here's an average guy. He's just playing games and he's enjoying it. So I said, okay, I would start by playing, um, you know, just playing some games that I enjoy and stuff like that. And then from there, I met other streamers. And to me, the whole, the good thing about Twitch, as long as you stay away from the toxic streamers, is that you do, um, like, I'm all about building friendships and relationships. I'm not about trying to, as most would do, come in and just try to, like, um, you know. And I, and I thank you for following me, too, Dream Team. I, I do appreciate your follow. Uh, for me, though, Twitch isn't about trying, like, everybody has this mentality that they're going to be the next big streamer, you know. And it's that mentality that kind of ruins a lot of people's streams. You know, instead of trying to be themselves, they try to mimic others and mimic other streamers. And that's not a good idea. You know, I mean, it's one thing to, because um, I know I'm going to die again. Um, it's one thing to kind of like, you know, um, take from other streams. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was your first follow, Dream Team. I'm glad I was your first follow. Okay, we're going to switch up games before I get back into this again. But that was um, our Nangus, I believe that is. And um, it is a light version of this game. Um, but I'm going to contact the developer and see how exactly I can actually maintain the um full version of that game you couldn't believe it well you know and then two for me dream team i'm all about um promoting and getting the um smaller streamers out there um because i feel like we all start from somewhere we all you know and 